In verse 2, he continues now. He says the same thing, but looking at it from a different perspective. God's word. By this we know that we love the children of God. By this we know that we have koinonia, that we have supernatural unity. When we love God. We know we love his children when we love daddy. And, conjunction, we obey his commands. The truth of the matter is, you will love in truth when you obey in truth and love. Again, we said three pillars. Truth, love, and faithful obedience, where John keeps coming back to it in a circular pattern. Here we see it right in this passage Verse 2, by this we know the truth, that we love in truth the children of God, koinonia, when we love God and obey faithful obedience, his commands. Here's the great commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. Let me give it to you in our vernacular. You've got to be obsessed with Jesus. You want to know the number one? Be obsessed with Jesus. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Be in koinonia. Have a supernatural unity. And say, in in that dynamic, what do I do then? The Great Commission. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Friends, if you and I had to sum up the commands that we are to obey if we are going to love in truth, is to be obsessed with our king, to be in koinonia with our family, and to live on offense going out to the dark and dying world for the express purpose of witnessing in the power of God. You will be my witnesses when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Locally, regionally, and to the ends of the earth. And you don't go make converts, you make disciples. God didn't call you and me to be a part of building orphanages spiritually. He called us to be a part of building an army for our king. That's what a disciple who makes disciples who makes disciples is. We're to be discipled warriors. He says, the proof of all this will be your love for God and your love for my people. A vertical and a horizontal love will tell the story of one's life. It doesn't matter what somebody says with their lips. It's a matter of what they do with their lives. And God's word makes it clear. He says, those who love me will obey me righteously. And those who obey me will love me righteously. You can't pull these two apart. When we say, oh, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. Friends, I believe that the problem that is plaguing our country and so much of the cultural church is that we have so cheapened this word love. We don't even really like him. We just know that we're supposed to. So we check off and we do the things. If you loved him, you'd be obsessed with him. My heart breaks because the professing church is telling a lost and dying world that they're fine. And that where you play church and where you go and become moralistic and you acknowledge in your head that there is a deity and you start being a little bit nicer to the people around you, that that's the pathway to heaven and it's not true. And I take you back to where we began. You can't climb up to him but you can cry out and he will come down to you. This is not about you or me working harder. It's about us worshiping truly and saying, Lord Jesus, I need you.